and I just had breakfast with Marion and David down at the hotel. If you're at the Hampton Inn, breakfast is free, which is great. I just had a bagel with apple butter and some coffee. And this is a perspective you don't see from me very often, which is going to get a badge from Will Call. Origins actually doesn't ship badges or tickets to people at all. It is a, they just do Will Call. So we are going to try navigate registration, see what that's like. So kudos to Origins, they actually did a really good job getting us our badges. Um, we were in line a grand total of like three minutes, oh it's like a maze, I like it. <laughs> uh, it better when nobody's here. Right, I like that. <laughs> they got us our badges, we lined up, I don't know, for less than a minute and got our badges straight away. Their system worked, the scanner worked, um, infamously origin at registrations has had issues in the past but lines are moving smoothly i don't see any issues even at 7 a.m when they opened i think everybody got through within 30 minutes which is pretty great good job after you get your badge you go over here to materials pickup and you get a program guide probably a coupon booklet then maybe some other swag then you go to materials pickup which i'll show you in a sec and you get a program guide and probably a coupon booklet and maybe something else.
are you playing? Uh, I'm playing Star Trek Miniatures. One of these guys? What do you do? How many power points is it? You, you push a lot of points around your sheet. <laughs> okay, I got it. Is that your character sheet? Yeah, there's a sheet for each. Yeah, sure. I'm controlling two shirts, there's a sheet. Yeah, if you put 10 in, you'll get 15. But you're on a team with your friend over there. Yes. All right. And you guys are like attacking whatever these guys are doing. Well, remember, you can't go above whatever the maximum is. So this game came out was an official license for a Star Trek miniatures tactical game. It came out back in like the 80s. And it, it's out of print. Like they no longer have the license or make this anymore. But this is the type of convention where you can find these weird things that, you know, that are from back, back in the day that you can't find anymore. And you can kind of have a blast from the past experience, which is really neat. I love it.
just, well, I just cooled down, but we just got done with getting our tickets. So here's the story. We, this morning, we logged back onto the online um, ticketing thing where you can check what uh, events are still available. And it was great because they showed you what events were still available, what had tickets, what couldn't, and you can add them to your account and check out and purchase those tickets. So we were like, great. So we chose our tickets, um, we chose what events we wanted to do. And then about an hour, no, about like two or three hours ago now, we decided to go up to event registration to pick up the tickets we already paid for. And the line wasn't too long. It had like maybe 20 people in it. Not too bad. Except that it took like an hour and a half. An hour and a half. They had one window open. And like every person that they had to deal with took like 20 minutes. And the problem I talked to you guys about yesterday that if you have the technology to show people what tickets are still available it helps everybody because they can plan ahead they can make a schedule if you don't have that what people are going to do so there's that guidebook i showed you guys earlier it's like an inch thick and what happens if people can't plan ahead and don't know what tickets are going to be available is that they will stand at the one available window that you have open for selling tickets and go page by page through that program guide and choose the events that they want to ask questions about. So that's what was happening. We were lucky because we checked that morning and we were able to add tickets to our cart and check out. But most people, since that hadn't been an option for like three weeks, didn't do that. So first problem was that, that people were just taking forever, going through like thousands of events. And then the second problem was that there seemed to just be a lot of tech issues. Every time they seemed to run a credit card, there was like an error message that was throwback. And everything seemed to load a lot of time. By the time we got up to the window, the poor lady was pretty exasperated because it wasn't her fault, but it just seemed like everything, every time she pressed the button, it just seemed to like take forever to do anything. So by the time we got to the front of that line, it had been like an hour and a half. And it was just such a short line, so it was just really frustrating. We got, she's waiting in line is draining, right? And after having such a great experience with, we'll call, what was it called? Pre-registration and picking up that badge in 30 seconds, walking right through the line. That was amazing. And they have the technology over that line to print because the event tickets look exactly the same as your badge. So your badge looks like this and an event ticket looks like this. So they're the same thing. Uh, so I don't see why pre-registration just can't also double down and print your tickets for you. But they can't. Uh, we asked. They wouldn't do it. But not only that, at event registration, not only do they have all the issues with loading and error messages and people choosing their events one by one, they also have to hand by one by one they have to add the hologram to each event ticket that you buy and some people are buying like a bunch of tickets like 50 tickets to things i don't know that takes time i just wanted to rant a little bit about that that was so far everything's been actually really good at origins like everything's been really improved that was just one thing where they needed to have more windows open. They needed to have tested whatever was going on. They needed to have tested it before. And every time they ran a credit card, a supervisor had to come over. So they just needed to maybe grant more permissions or something. It was just really <laughs> exhausting. So now Mary, Marian, Derek and I are, uh, well, they're working and I'm editing my video from today because I don't want to be up till 3 a.m. again. And it's raining outside. like really hard and crazy bad and it is about 7 it's coming close to 7 p.m. now and Derek might take a little bit of a rest because he's not feeling well and Marion's gonna go to an event in Barley's Barley's is the bar right next door and I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I might just tag along forgot to mention one thing the we got lucky because we noticed that the event registration on their internet website, that's how that works, and their website was up that, so we could add tickets to our cart, check out, check if tickets were sold out, events were available, all of this kind of stuff. But immediately, about uh, two-ish hours, three hours after we picked up our tickets and everything, 
they closed it again so right now if you go to the origins website you can no longer see event ticket service still available for events if they're sold out how many have sold but they just they turned it on for like eight hours and then turned it back off what is it worked perfectly fine when we did it there was no there's no good reason to not have that why turn it off Origins and Gen Con, I actually have the same problem. I vlog it and I take a lot of video footage and I record everything that I do, and that feels it makes me feel like I'm doing quite a lot of things. But when I look back on my footage, all I'm doing is like, here's the food I ate, here's when I walked around that time, and I get really caught up in talking to people and hanging out with friends and just doing the like, food and. I never, I, I often forget to actually engage with the show and the convention, so I don't play that many organized games. I forget to show the games. And so this Origins, I'm making a concerted effort to record when I'm playing in a game or, or even just to go to games. And um, usually I just like forgo that just to hang out and spend time with friends. So I'm just trying to push myself a little more to go get out there and actually do things. Hence the rain jacket, Marion and I, she's going to an event in Barley's, like I mentioned earlier, where she, it's like a meet up, play some board games, have a beer, and uh, and that that's pretty much the basic idea. So I'm gonna, I have some generic tickets, so I'm gonna try and go along, see if they'll have me and play some games. Cause I don't know, I don't have much footage from today. All we did was work, try to get event tickets and then I played that little uh, Dragoon game with the pieces and I'd like to have some more stuff to show you. I, I don't want it to just look like I don't do anything. It feels like I'm doing a lot. I have a lot of footage to edit but in the end I don't really have that much footage in terms of concrete things that I did that are engaging with the show. So see you guys in Barley's. <laughs>
better. A little bit, I guess. I want to be cute. Hard to say. Derek's feeling worser, even though he felt better, and now he's feeling worse. So he is napping. Well, now he's just going to go to sleep. But it's like 10-ish p.m., and I'm back in the hotel room after gaming time with my friendships. And I've decided to... They were, they were maybe going to watch a movie or something, but I'm going to be a responsible human and edit this vlog and watch some telly and go to sleep. Derek, I might get a full eight hours. Oh. Tomorrow we get breakfast and then we go see the exhibitor hall yeah. and we, we buy lots of stuff. I want to get shut in on. Der Derek's in a game, what's it called? The Blue Devil, I think it's a Knight's Black Agents game. So that'll be fun. And then he's got office hours and has to work at some point and I have no events. So Mary and I are gonna check out the vendor hall and then the quiet room we want to see what that's like here and then also maybe we got the board game room ticket so i'm gonna check that out and we're gonna watch tv at this video i'll see you all tomorrow half of a heart because i don't have my other hand love you all